What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, welcome back to The Decent Garage. In today's video, we're gonna be looking more at Lieutenant Dan and why it's low on power. Now I said today we'd be doing some boost leak testing, but you guys had some phenomenal comments and I would say 90% of them pointed to a fueling issue. So first thing we're gonna do today, and I should have known this, but we're gonna change the fuel filter. Um, that, I, I've never changed it since I owned the truck. It, it, the truck had been sitting in a barn for eight years or so before I bought it. So we're gonna change that, see what that does, and uh, hopefully that works. Also, a couple more updates. It is a year today from when we finished painting the OG crew cab. So I'm gonna do a follow-up video on that. How has it turned out? How has it aged over the year? Uh, and let you guys know what I think about it. Also, I've ordered samples of all the merch I'm gonna be releasing, hopefully by July 1st. The samples should be here in the next week or two. I'm gonna, if I approve of them, make sure they're good quality. I'll let you guys know and we'll start selling merch. So let's get into changing the fuel filter on this thing. Hopefully that's the issue. All right, so let's get the uh, fuel filter out of here. I'm noticing uh, th this truck is just interesting. I, obviously you guys know I didn't build this one, but uh, I thought the whole motor was a 97 motor, which I was told that's what it was, but the belt I had to buy, the serpentine belt, I bought a 97 one and it didn't fit, it was too small. So I had to buy the 92 one, which is what the transmission's from, and that fit. But I'm noticing that the fuel filter on this one is uh, different than my first gen one. Uh, there's no water and fuel sensor. There's no nipple to drain it out. It's a little bit wider. So the fuel filter I had on hand is probably not going to work because it's got the hole in the bottom for the water and fuel. So I'm going to pull this off, uh, probably run to Napa real quick, pick up a new filter so we can try that out. <clears throat> So as you uh, unscrew it, keep some upward pressure on it so it doesn't just fall off. Let's see what we have here. There we go. So the fuel looks pretty good, um, but the filter does look quite old. It's got a lot of corrosion around here. so. Let's do this. Let's go pick up a new filter, throw it in, and uh, hope for the best. Cross our fingers and hope that works. Maybe it'll be that easy. All right, guys. So, yeah, I got this fuel filter out, and I poured the old fuel into a container, and there was some nasty black stuff in there. So uh, let's put a new fuel filter in there, and then uh, maybe out of curiosity, we'll cut this thing open and see how bad it really is. But let's give it a whirl. All right, guys, we are in business, new uh, fuel filter, and uh, let's go try it out. It's idling a lot higher, which makes me feel like maybe fuel's flowing better, I don't know. All right, here we are coming up to a stop sign, and we will pull away from this. And see how it is. pounds of boost it didn't do I'm gonna do one more pull because I want to make sure before I say 
that it didn't do it, but I didn't see it do the white smoke sputtering. So let's turn this bad boy around. Try one more good pull with it. Definitely better, that's for sure. So hit 15 pounds in second gear. 28 pounds in fourth gear. And 27 in fifth gear, so better, but actually we're going to keep going. We're going to do one more pull up the hill. I just want to make sure that white smoke sputtering is gone. Yeah, it's, I think we're clear on that, but we have some AFC tuning to do now, because I think we, uh, I think when we tuned the AFC, we weren't getting all the fuel, and so we tuned it to fuel a little bit more, and now we're, we've got quite a bit of black smoke. So, but that is what is fun about these trucks. Some people may get annoyed and think it's annoying to have to do all this work on these trucks, but I think it's actually really fun to problem solve and try and figure stuff out. All right, guys, real quick, before we cut open that fuel filter to see what's inside, we're going to check one more filter uh, that I didn't know about until I did a little research. So on the P-Pump trucks, the uh, let's see if we can get you down in there. The fuel heater is right here, and on the bottom, there's a little screen in there. So we're going to pull that off. Now on the VE pump trucks, the fuel heater's up here above the fuel filter. Uh, so to get it off... You need a 17 millimeter wrench. There's a little spot on the bottom to uh, put that on and then you just unscrew it. So I broke it loose. I'm guessing some fuel is gonna come out. Oh yeah, there we go. A little bit of fuel. I'm gonna lose. Oh boy. So, here it is. We got some stuff in here. So, let's find a socket that we can fit on this to take that nut off. Alright, so 24 millimeter socket fits right on there. So, that's not terrible. I'll probably go wash it out, rinse it out, just to, just because I've got it out, but I was expecting that to be worse, so I think just the main fuel filter was the issue. Oh, here's, here's a bunch of, like, grass and stuff. Yeah, let's rinse this out and then we'll throw it back on and then let's go cut that fuel filter open. All right, guys, so that seems to have worked. I've actually put about uh, 20 miles on it since I did that, and uh, it's way better. Um, I think that was the main issue. The idle is really high right now, which I was going to fix right now, but I think I'm going to wait because I was thinking of just adjusting the idle screw on the throttle linkage, but then I got to thinking about it. The governor springs, there isn't a spring in there that affects the idle, and I may have the governor spring set too tight. So... What we're going to do, uh, we're going to wait for my new AFC spring to come and then we will do some final tuning on this uh, with the AFC and the governor springs. And then we'll check the, the boost and the intercooler for boost leaks and make sure that's all good to go. And then this should be rocking and rolling very nice. But before we end the video, I have the old fuel filter right here and I'm thinking it might be fun to... Uh, cut this open somehow and see what this looks like inside to see how bad it was so 
let's get some type of device and cut into this. All right, guys, we got that off. And yeah, this is no bueno. Yeah, this was long overdue, so you can see it's pretty pretty used up and it, uh, this was long overdue, so thinking that may have been our problem there. Throw this away. All right, guys, moral of the story is if you're low on power, first step, especially if you suspect it to be a fueling issue, change the fuel filter. Uh, it's funny because people ask questions about this all the time on Facebook and that's always my number one response to them. And here I am, I failed to do it myself. So we all make mistakes, but it's running much better. We're gonna do some more AFC tuning in the next video. We're gonna change the overflow valve. We're probably gonna put the 4K governor springs back in, see how we can get this thing running. Then we will do some boost leak testing. I've got a lot going on. I'm gonna be doing another riding video on the XR400 this week. Picked up another project, an XR100 that I'm completely restoring, restoring uh, as far as decent garage definition of restoration goes. Lieutenant Dan got the tub back on, ready to start sanding it down for paint. So I've got a lot of videos being filmed right now, but everything's kind of in this awkward stage where it's not ready to have the video be put out. But rest assured, we got content coming. So I hope you guys are enjoying the videos and enjoying the channel. We'll see you guys in the next video.